Hey guys, this is Ryan. I'm in a systems class this semester, and something we talked about was process forking. And this is duplicating processes to do multi-process things, basically. And there's a term that came up that was called fork bombing. And I thought it'd be cool to explain that to you guys and show you an example of what happens when you have a fork bomb on your system. So you may have noticed that I have a secure shell login, and that's because I don't want to do this on my own computer. Fork bombing, that is, because it really, it, it doesn't hurt your system really, but it's just, it's hard to get out of. So I wrote my own fork bomb program here that I can post if you really want me to. But all it does is it calls PS, which is the um, process status, a lot, and it shows the um, the processes that are made with this a certain parent ID, which is the one that is from this entire thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'll get to the cool stuff in a minute. So what I've set up is this, which is um, typing in what you get from process status into get regular expression. So I only see these from my process. Cool thing about Camp Studio is it occasionally crashes, occasionally will not save your audio file for whatever reason because it can't rename it. So I will be jumping around quite a bit as I make multiple videos for this single video. Uh, anyways, back to this. So um, it makes a child process which runs PS and then I, within the original parent, I constantly fork all the time and occasionally if I want to, I can wait in between. So that's what this program does. You run FB, just by itself it gives you the parameters. Time is for um, sleeping between calling PS and fork time is between forks. So what I'm gonna do is call FB and I'm going to do one and three. So every three seconds I fork and every one second I call PS. You see I have a third process here now and a fourth one and it keeps going. And just a note, it's only showing ones from this parent, which is why it's one at a time. But if you note um, from this diagram, this is the parent, and he forks and makes a child. But he keeps forking himself, and the child keeps forking. So in the background, really, there are like all of these processes running. But I only see the ones that he makes, so I view like these, or I view this one, that one, and this one, and this one, because those are officially children, if you will. So come on. So I'm going to run this again but I will run this alongside it. And you can see there's three of those, there's five of them, now there's maybe 10, wait a little longer, now there's quite a bit, so I'm gonna stop that. And this is what's really happening in the background, there's a lot of processes being spawned like crazy. And if you see there, um, I don't remember which one's the P PID, It's one of these two, but since it's changing, that's why they're not showing up here, because it's only for the original FB parent ID kind of a thing. So, and uh, just on a side note, you didn't need all that fancy junk in my program. Really, you only need four lines to create a fork bomb, but I want to do some extra stuff on the side. But, um, yeah, so getting back to what I was showing you, I'm going to go ahead and call FB again. This time... Still one second, print FS, but do not wait to fork. And please ignore this, this is something I was testing. But as you see, it never ever prints what it was doing before. And that is because it's already filled with the process table. And I haven't mentioned process table before, but all systems have a process table. And there's only a limited amount of space. It's based on your RAM, I'm pretty sure. And this system has two gigabytes, so it's already filled up like that. There's no time at all. I can't even call this it'll say I can't do it there's not enough there's not any more entries I can't I can't make a child of this bash and continue so basically I can't do anything on this system I can't fork I can't do anything it's completely useless and the only way you can fix that is to kill the process that started it which was FB and oh good <laughs> it even logged me out which is great so now I can run normal processes and everything's fine but yeah, that's a uh, that's fork bombing. And just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and run this again, where it freezes my system, and I'm gonna try to secure shell into it. And surprisingly, it shows up, which could be just because I'm pinging it for something, and it doesn't have to really process anything. But as soon as I try to do this, shell request failed on channel zero, which I can't secure shell in when it's blocked like this. So there's quite a there's a large impact on your system when you get a fork bomb. 
and I can't even tell. Look, look, it's it's still running because all I did was I just canceled some stuff, but it's still <laughs> the child process is still running. I think it's really funny. Let's see if I can find that real quick. By child process, I mean the one that is um, uh, it's the one that's calling PS all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one. No, no, that's the... Yeah, 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 okay. So this is the original fork bomb, and this is the child from it as well, which took the same parameters, if you will, but this is the this is the child. So I just need to be kill FB. And look, it stopped! Ah. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. So that's what a fork bomb is. If you're ever going to try this, make sure you do it on a separate computer, because my computer struggles as it is with um, Camp Studio. It's probably going to crash. But... Yeah, so that's how that's how this works. Make sure if you're testing it, uh, you, you're careful because you can break stuff. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I can post. Oh, good. <laughs> I can post the code if you want me to. All right, see you there, guys. I have a desktop that's just sitting here that I'm secure shelling into, and that's where I'm going to do the fork bombing itself because... I don't want to freeze my own system. As you can see, it's already flipping out because I have, uh, that's nice, because I have Fraps, not Fraps, Cam Studio up and running in the background, and so it's freaking out. Come on, come on, get one, come on. Oh god, oh god. So there is my entire screen. Oh good, we're back, okay. So I want that one. I want, I want that one. 